Howdy hackers and welcome to another episode of Fairlight TV. Since it's December I was planning to wear my Christmas cap. Digging around in the basement I didn't find that so you have to make do with this which is my ugly as fuck shirt. Christmas inspired anyway. This will be a rather brief one I've had you with two hour interviews in the past and this one will be a lot briefer. It will be uh, having a look at Dear Master 4.0. Sorry about that. Uh, so I'll, I'll open a window first here. So the, the number of, of uh, things you should have installed or the number of programs you need to have when you're messing with 364 stuff on other platforms would be some sort of editor, some sort of assembler, some sort of emulator and something that makes that into like a, a thing. And then you need something which is doing your file management for you. And Deal Master is the thing to make uh, file manipulations for you. I, I cannot basically think of like working with C64 stuff on the PC without having that. I think this is Windows only, and I don't know what options you have for other platforms. So pardon me, Linux users or Mac users, if this might not be for you. And, and pardon me for being ignorant to say, I don't know if this is for you, but I think it's Windows only. Uh, let's move to this. So the new user interface is a bit different than the old one. Uh, so this one is... Um, it has free floating kind of windows and I'm sure a number of people will love that and I'm sure a number of people would hate that. So I'm dropping here uh, a file to this and since the free floating windows tend not, well they sort of appear randomly, uh, it, appa it appears on my main screen whereas this is my secondary screen. Uh, so every time there will be a window appearing it's likely going to appear on my other window so I will need to drag it in. I just took a random D64 file, so this is what it looks like, and, and this is pretty much what it looked like in the past. Uh, yeah, one thing, one button that is sort of gone is this one, toggle font. So there used to be a toggle font like, which had like a small A and, and a big A, pretty much like this, but, uh, but uh, this is small in size, uh, not a capital and, and the other one. Uh, yeah, but this is it. So this one looks rather much the same, but we will have a look at a few of the features that are new in this one. So view files, you know how sprite option here. I don't have any sprites in this, so it will not show anything relevant. Again, this shows up in another window. To be honest, I'm not going through bugs or anything because this is rather early beta of the program and I don't want to kind of embarrass Chris McBain, uh, the whiz of, of style for this, but uh, I pointed out a few of those issues. But so you see here that you can scroll and uh, it sort of highlights the area inside the file which is it's interpreting as a sprite and on the top here you see the sprite and you can select multicolor and you can select the, select the colors of the multicolor sprite and all of that. So that is the sprite. Uh, it might not be the perfect uh, sprite viewer, but, but it's greatly adding to the general competence of, of Deer Master that this is there. There is a way to actually look at sprite. It has been able to kind of explore the file for, for bitmap formats and all of that. So this is a great addition. I really like this. Uh, okay, uh, one of the other things we should be able to do is like a disassembly. I have, yes, I haven't turned on the uh, illegal opcodes. To be honest, I think uh, I've had a discussion with Chris about this. And to be honest, I think there was uh, undocumented opcodes already in the previous version. It's just that he didn't enable it. So all the code was there. It just wasn't turned on because he wasn't kind of confident it was actually fully working so but now there is so uh, and you enable that using the settings uh it could have been good to have be able to toggle that oh here you have the lower and, and the other thing i was talking about it's really strange that that isn't in the like directory interface but but that is like a small thing 
Uh, so this is this, and uh, yeah, what else? Let's have a look at uh, hex files. Uh, so here we have a view of a hex file. Uh, the new thing I think here is the thing on top. You actually see where you are in the file. Um, previously you could scroll back and forth and, and that was all good. But if you want, if you thought I, you clicked like that byte, which byte is that? Then you needed to compute which byte that was. And now it tells you. So it tells you which exact byte it is and the the number of that byte and, and a few other things. Um, and, and this is also something I really like. Uh, 21, what is that? 3A. No. It's only searching forward, is it? So here, you can actually search for, for bytes inside the file. And I, I honestly think that that wasn't available before. And this is a great thing for me. If I want to look at the file, there, there are multiple times where I need to search for like a bit pattern or a byte pattern inside a file. So I really love that feature. Great stuff. Um, I should also be able to do this. Uh, so this is the, uh, like the, the view of where the files are on the, uh, on the, on the disk. So here you have tr track 18 and that is the track, uh, the directory track. And <laughs> as this is, uh, produced, not using like a native drive, but using the, the D64 writer inside kick assembler, it starts with... <laughs> track one sector zero and then fills from there. It's not a natural way for the 15 border one uh, drive to do it, but uh, this is the way it's done here. Uh, yes, it's not. Okay, so uh, let's let's open that. Uh, and here you see, well, a traditional track view or rather a sector view. But one thing that is new here is you can toggle this. So the current was 1800, so this is the BAM, but now you can also toggle to have it viewed as hexadecimal. And if you are coding, a lot of the stuff you are doing in, is in hexadecimal, um, you need to feed the command channel with decimal values. But, uh, but it, uh, normally when, you, when you're writing like direct access code in, in machine code, you are using that, you, you are using hexadecimal. So, it's really neat not to be not to be forced to toggle back and forth like in your mind and, and or calculate it uh, like separately it's it's already here it's great so these are a few of the new features of directory master 4.0 i'm sure a number of people will like hate the fact that the windows are free floating uh, but but it's a matter of taste, and and my general suggestion to Chris was to be able to kind of toggle that so they would also appear inside like the main window here. Uh, I, but I, but in general, I think this is improving a, a few of the shortcomings of of uh, the master the master three point fifteen and adding an, a few nice features that uh, for me for one are appreciating greatly. So great work, Chris. I hope to see this in the wild in the near future because this is a beta version. It's not like a public release yet. And for those of you who don't know it, beta test is pre-release testing. It's not sending your program to Jan Beta for him to test it. It's, it's, it's test by beta testers and we are not named beta, either one of us. Thank you so much and Merry Christmas to all of you and uh, see you next time in Fairlight TV. Bye bye.